Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Ariel J. Welcome if you are new. Today I thought we would talk about how to read a Lululemon size dot. A lot of people ask me, do I keep my Lululemon tags? A lot of people do keep their tags, they collect them, and they simply keep them just to be able to tell what item they purchased, just so they can kind of keep track of what they purchased, how much it was, possibly for reselling purposes or for their own keeping of their books. So for me, I do not keep the tags, I just don't. Some people have like binders, which is really cool. They have like shoe boxes. They just like to keep them for me. I would rather either go back to my purchase history or I like to actually read the size dot. Believe it or not, a lot of people, one, may not know what those numbers mean, two, they may not know how to read the size dot. And so I thought that I would walk you through that process. It may actually allow you to cut down on keeping those tags and get rid of them. So let's get right into it. Okay. So this is what the size dot looks like. I hope you can see it. So it has the size number on the inside. So in this case, it's a six. And then it has numbers and letters around it. For each item, depending on what it is, that size dot will be located somewhere else. So I kind of wanted to walk you through where the size dot is in each item. That way you can know where to actually find those size dots, which is essential. I know a lot of times on resale sites, there are people who like to sell fake Lululemon, so it's important to know where that size dot is. That way when you purchase things, resell, you know that it's authentic. You can easily look up the style, the color, all the things just to make sure that it's real. So first we can go into bras. So this is the Wonder Train Longline Bra, and typically with the bras, all the size dots are located in the same space. So if you turn the bra inside out, there is, you guys know these little slits for um, your padding underneath uh, inside the bra. And so what you wanna do, it, it's, on either side of the bra, you're just gonna turn it inside out and it's literally right there on the tip. So that's where you can find that size dot in the bra. Very easy to locate. Um, some of the older Lululemon styles, just because they're so old, they don't necessarily have this size dot or it won't have as many numbers and letters around it. But it's just important to know with the newer styles, that's where it's gonna be at every single time. Look on the inside of the bra and you should be able to locate that. That's what it looks like for the bras. Next is the leggings. So it just depends with the leggings. So if it's an older style, sometimes you can find it in the pocket. This one obviously does not have it in there. So if it's not in there, these are the Swift Speeds and they do have side pockets. Um, it, will be, it will be in the side of the pocket. So just turn it and it's right there. So you can't find it in the back. It's always on the side. Um, again, it has the number in the middle and then numbers and letters around it. With the Wonder Trains, it's a little bit different because they don't have the side pockets and they don't have the pocket on the back. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the band kind of inside out. And there's this little slit right here with the pocket. You're going to turn that inside out and that's where that size dot is located. So again, in the Wonder Trains, it's on the inside band. In the Swift Speeds, it's in the pocket. Um, in the Fast and Freeze, the same and so on and so forth. Been with... Um, the base paces. These are shorts. I always get these confused, you guys. You know that. These are the tracker or track that shorts in the five inches. Um, and they do have a little pocket on the side. And so you want to open up that pocket and the size dot is right there. Number on the inside and then the number and the letters on the outside. So that's always where you can find the shorts. Um, sometimes you have to kind of dig around. I have seen in different styles, sometimes a size dot is kind of on the inside of the lining. So it just depends, but I mean, the size that is more than likely gonna be there and it should be there, especially if it's a newer style. Next, this is a men's item. It's the City Sweat um, sweatshirt and there is a size dot in this as well. For men's, it's gonna look a little bit differently. Their sizing is not from zero up to, I think 22 or 24. It's actually small, medium, and large. So with this, it's actually gonna be on the inside of the pocket, if you can see. So I just turned the pocket inside out and there is. Sometimes with older Lululemon items, if they have a pocket on the inside, sometimes the size dot tends to be in there. So when you're looking at resale items, if you're looking at things that are thrifted, be sure to check these pockets on the inside. Be sure to check all in the pockets for that as well. And it should always be there. And then I wanted to show you as well on the scubas. Um, of course, they're gonna be there as well. And this time it's gonna be on the inside pocket. As you guys can see, it's kind of the consistent thing. Um, but it's just gonna have that medium large and then the numbers around it as well. So just know where to find the size dot. More times than not, it's gonna be in the pocket of whatever Lululemon item that you have. There are some things that do not have the size dot. The belt bags, I know a lot of people ask that. No, there's not you know, a size dot for the belt bags. I wanted to show you this is just a Swiftly. Um, there is no size dots on Swiftly's, but 
if you turn, mine's already turned inside out, but if you turn it inside out and you look at, I can't see it, on the seam, the size should be right there. So it's not gonna identify the color or the year, but it will show you the size, which I think is important. So if you're ever wondering like, hey, I wanna resell this, I don't know what the size is, just turn it inside out and you can kinda see it there, it should say an eight. So that's important to know. And then like things like the Power Pivot do not have any size dot whatsoever. They just have the small logo. Again, um, you can always go back into your purchase history to find when you purchased it, or you can also use Lulu Fanatics, which is a website where you can go in and identify what item you purchased. Sometimes I will search, like if it's an older item, I'll search like the color, kind of the, those descriptive words um, just to try and locate it. And usually I don't really have a problem identifying them. Okay, so now that we have located where those size dots are, let's go through how to read them. There's a method to it, but it's so easy, you guys. It is so easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be like, oh, that's nothing. So I have my phone here so I can look it up and kind of show you guys what that process looks like. Go ahead and let's do these wonder trains. So when looking at the size dot, again, the number is always in the middle, but I always start, there's always going to be an L. So I start with LW. Those are the first two letters that I'm going to enter into Google. Do a Google, google.com, and I just kind of search LW. Then after those first two um, letters, there's going to be a series of numbers and letters. So I do um, the first fi five. <laughs> so LW, 6B, N, F, S. So we're going to go clockwise. Lululemon in the front of that. Lululemon directly after that LW. 6B. NFS and then I search it and then it's just going to pull up Lululemon and a few images and then I search and as you can see there's a bunch of different it tells me that it's a wonder train and then I just kind of look for the color that I have something very similar um, so those look just like it and those are it I click on it me to it'll take you to the website if that item is still in stock on the website it'll take you to the website if not it will take you to lulu fanatics super easy so again you're going to start with the lululemon in google just type lululemon then you're going to start with the l w and then the five letters and numbers directly after that clockwise that's it you enter it in google you look for the image if it doesn't come right up that looks um, very similar to what you're looking for the color and honestly that's how you do it and a lot of times Lulu Fanatics will show up and you'll be able to kind of identify it from there. And that's literally it. The simplest thing ever. You don't have to keep your tags. You don't have to have a shoebox full of tags. You don't have to worry about, hey, what color is this? You're able to easily identify that and also authenticate Lululemon items. So hopefully that was helpful. It's helped me. I don't keep the tags again. Um, so if you have any questions, drop them below. You guys already know, subscribe, 